everyone and welcome to vlogmas day 14. It is currently lunchtime and I woke up not that long ago after getting home at 1.30 in the morning yesterday and look who's here! <laughs> Serena and I are going to Ikea in a bit but let's open the advent calendars! Yeah. It's been forever. <laughs> we have, well which one? Do you want to do yours? My one? Okay do yours. Um, I haven't opened mine for like over a week so would you like some chocolate? I've not even opened, I'm, right, I'm yet to open day <laughs> three. Day four. That's how people, why do you have a quality That's just, really boring. <laughs> <laughs> That's very exactly, it is the most boring thing. The worst chocolate as well. It oh. actually is. He hasn't liked a single chocolate that he's had in his advent calendar so far. I'm expecting. Well, You've only opened like two days, haven't you? Yeah, day two is open. Where's day three then? As you can see, our house is a complete mess because we literally oh, just got here last night and we haven't unpacked yet. I'm gonna skip a door. So I have done four. Oh, here you are, day three. Five, six. This one's not bad, the orange one. I thought you wanted to sleep on mine. I know. This, this is quality. <laughs> I haven't even eaten half of these. Holly's had most of these actually when I was in Leicester. Where's number seven? What did you get? Mine's this one, the orange. I like this one. That's not orange. That's toffee. No, it's an orange one. <laughs> I don't think it well, is. I don't think it's orange flavour, but I think it's alright. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Another one? No, I'm right. Reese's? Well. <laughs> Number eight. God, I'm so far behind. <laughs> yeah, might as well. Is that anyway. Like could have come on suitcase with us. We could have done, but. But we're going to squash them. Anyway, Serena and I are going to IKEA. Have you been to IKEA before? I have one. Oh, okay, I was going to say you're in for a treat. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have lunch, but the whole purpose of this trip is to buy some biscuits, which is so random. Last year, was it last year or the year before? Yes. Trust and I were in Ikea before Christmas, and there was a lady handing out some biscuit samples. So we tried them, and they had ginger in it, and my granddad absolutely loves ginger. All of our Christmas presents that anyone ever gets him are based <laughs> around a ginger theme, and if you guys have, like... Indian parents or grandparents you'll probably know that they just don't like receiving presents they just feel like everything is a luxury nothing is a necessity mm. they return everything that you ever buy them at least in our family they do anyway and so there's just nothing you can buy them that's like nice because they don't really like it's not that they don't appreciate it but they just don't they just see it as like too much of a luxury right and so I bought him a tin of biscuits and he loved them. So I want to go back to Ikea and I'm really hoping they do the same tin of biscuits. So we're going to buy them and then Serena and I are going to have lunch. Oh, no. I want to try the new veggie hot dogs. I've heard a lot about them. Veggie hot dogs? Yeah, I don't really like Ikea. I know they're known for their meatballs. But obviously they I'm do fine. veggie meatballs as well, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Amazing. But um, yeah, we'll just eat. Okay. Might as well just make a little afternoon of it. <laughs> this is so weird. I've never heard of Addison Lee Couriers, but I missed... Oh, two parcels when I was away. I thought Addison Lee were just like taxis, like overpriced taxis that just grannies take. <laughs> Wasn't that the reason that Uber was invented, Jess? Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. I need to figure out what this is. Yeah, yeah. Are you excited? <laughs> so am I for biscuits <laughs> for lunch first, though. <laughs> it's literally the first thing we see as we walk in. <laughs> well spotted, Serena. Ginger Thins. They've changed the box from last year, but they've also got these. These ones have cinnamon. They do, don't they? Yeah. And there's some here that have got... Oh yeah, look. Almonds and ginger. I might just get in two tins. First things first. Dime cake. <laughs> Little granny with a shopping trolley. <laughs> yeah. had this before no. it's really good but really like, considering I'm not a cake person I always get this when I come to Ikea it's really good how to get free wrapping paper at Ikea this is what I wrapped my presents in last year it's really good quality brown paper 
<laughs> you can see as much as you want. <laughs> can we say proud of you? <laughs> Free brown paper, Merry yeah, Christmas. Like that. That's quite now. You can pull a bit more. Yeah? Yeah? That's a lot, isn't it? That's alright. <laughs> you put me down more. I took so much last year. So right. All right, that's what you do. <laughs> Ta-da! Serena, you thief! <laughs> yeah, we Think about what you've done. This is not my car. <laughs> I knew there was a reason why I invited Serena around. <laughs> She's helping me decorate the rest of this tree. If you've been watching my vlogmas, you'd have seen that I have a half decorated tree. I kind of had to leave before I went to Dublin. And so now I'm back and this is all just really annoying me. Like this has been here since before we left. So yeah, we're about to decorate the tree. <laughs> oh, I hate doing this bit. Because we weren't in a food coma, <laughs> we're now having is Terry's chocolate orange that my mum got for us and coffee. Woo! You're trying Tim Hortons for the first time, right? <laughs> oh, my tree looks so good. Thanks, Serena. I would never have got it done without you. I would just probably binned it <laughs> before Christmas. We found a use for my pixie box. Serena is taking it this time, not Anusha. What she's going to do, and I think this is a really good idea, is fill it with like loads of biscuits for her dad. <laughs> Christmas or for our granddad, it depends. But yes, please take this and all the other millions of boxes I have in my house. Please, please, please. <laughs> That's not a bad present, actually. A massive oh, box full of biscuits. Really. I'm gonna wrap this, okay? I've got one packet of biscuits aside. So I'll do a trick to him. He thinks he's got a really big present. But actually, he's just got a packet of biscuits. Maybe one biscuit. Yeah, maybe just give him a packet. <laughs> give him like a packet with tons of bubble wrap. I have loads of bubble wrap too. I mean, you can put like a box in each. You can put like a packet in here and a packet there. <laughs> oh my god, look what my neighbour just came around with. <gasps> this is so exciting. Like, literally the best Christmas stocking I have ever had. Well, the. <laughs> You really can't, sorry. <laughs> Just get me a bottle of Aperol, I'll be happy. <laughs> this is so nice. Ah, I have a bottle of Aperol. <laughs> a bottle of Cinzano Prosecco. The stocking's so cute. Oh, there's something else in here. <gasps> what the hell's this? Oh my God, this is so exciting. Oh, candy canes. Ah, one kind of broke. But look, I got candy canes. What's this? Oh God, I can't even. Dinner sheet, tis the season to begin your evenings in the best possible way and pimp your Prosecco with Aperol. So we wanted to share a little something to say very merry Spritzmas. And thanks for your support this year. Share your festive cheer with us at Aperol Spritz UK. Hashtag it starts now. Oh, this is so nice. What's this? Am I allowed to open it? <laughs> it's such a nice gift, isn't it? So you make a Aperol at Christmas? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I have so much Aperol. Oh, it's a little box. <gasps> no way. This oh is, God, is so, so cool. <laughs> Best Christmas present ever. <laughs> Thank you so much, Aperol. Oh, I love you guys. They really are the best. I have a new driver. <laughs> Please, two eyes on the road. Eyes on the road. <laughs> this is the first time I've been in the car with Serena and she's driving me back to her house. I'm so good, guys. You're so good. Such a good driver. <laughs> um, how long have you been driving for now? Um, probably like two months. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's been two months and I haven't been in the car with her yet. So we're going back to her. Shasta's is in our car in front, but I really wanted her to take you for a little drive. <laughs> and I'm going to give Anusha her little present that I picked up from her, from her, for her, from Dublin. And I don't know what we're doing after that, to be honest. Oh, I need to get something printed in your house as well. Yeah. So that's basically all we're doing. Oh, yeah, remind me about that. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, this is so exciting. One thing I need, I don't care about. Underneath the Christmas tree, I just 
taking a longer route because our favourite song just came on. Typical. Napkin. Yeah, I wiped, my, I wiped my mouth on it, and there you go. Wow. <laughs> so excited! <laughs> I love how she's sitting on the stairs like she's been told off. I have been. Okay. Oh, it's too crazy. Where is it? <laughs> say it. Say it. Say it. Whatever you go, whatever you may do, may the look at the Irish be there with you. <laughs> may the look at the Irish be there with you. Look who we win! It's really, really, and Serena, <laughs> again. I thought the whole day was Serena today. It's been so much fun. Um, we, didn't, right. we didn't miss you at all, Anusha. Yeah, because they didn't FaceTime me on the train. Yeah, that was an accident, okay? Yeah, we wanted to come and stalk but, you. But now we're going out for dinner with these yeah, two and their dad. Um, we're going to a place called Taipan in Northwood where Chas and I have been before, but it's been years. So I'm really looking forward to it. Actually, I'm, now that I think of it, I'm actually quite hungry. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey. You know, I've just had like Come on, chicken, have a be hand. I'm coming. <laughs> yes, I'm walking, I'm skipping. Hello. She's holding my hand. Yeah. Okay, please let go. Okay. Feeling very uncomfortable right now. Yay! Oh! <laughs> oh, little no, mini no, me. No, no. We were supposed to go out for drinks tonight, but Jess and I really can't be bothered. We're very tired. Our friend Hetz, who was supposed to come out, is still stuck babysitting. So I don't think it's going to happen. So, we've ended up coming out for dinner with, with the these guys <laughs> and their dad, who is crushed. in another car Did somewhere. Not. So nice to be reunited with you. Oh, no. <laughs> so fancy. Aww. We're so not fancy, so not prepared for this. We're in this, we're in this like private dining area. It's really cool. They are the one with the one is just <laughs> You're up next, Serena. And then she says that they see me. So now we're leaving the restaurant, and and my dad got like forty pounds off a meal. So everyone, go check out our max. <laughs> and yeah. Do you want to end my vlog for me for today? Okay, I will. So I'm gonna end it here. Or where do I? Yeah. Okay. Because you're walking out. Because I'm just walking out right now. <laughs> 
lots of people having their romantic dinners, you know, all their family getting together. There's their first date. But anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> now we are going to go outside. <laughs> anyway, here I leave you. <coughs> I'm sorry, okay? Freezing. Anyway. Oh! <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Vlogmas Day 13. 14. No, 15. 15. I don't know, okay? Is it 15 tomorrow? 15 today. Oh my god, yeah. See you tomorrow for day 15. Bye! Bye! Do you know what? I honestly don't know how I'm still alive. Like, I feel so sleepy. I could fall asleep while standing, but Jess and I have just come to Aldi. <laughs> Either it's gone 10 p.m. because it's open till 11. I need to, like, get a present for somebody. Don't ask. It's for tomorrow. Um, I'm meeting my friend's new baby tomorrow, and they've got this, like, really cute little book in, uh, like a book and a toy that my sister was telling me about because one of her friends just had a baby. And apparently Aldi sell it, so I'm going to have to come here and get it and then I just want to go home and sleep but my house is like such a mess because we obviously haven't been at home and I needed a bit of a food shop because in case you haven't noticed I haven't been at home much this month and there's no food in the house so hopefully Aldi has some like fruit and veg or just something I can buy oh, it's also so cold I hope it doesn't snow tomorrow because I will literally kill somebody. <laughs> you only come to the supermarket after you've had dinner. The last thing you want to think about is food. I have no idea what's inside my house, what I've already got in the fridge, what I haven't. I'm not going to shop. I'm just tired. I want my bed. I want to sleep. This is what I was looking for. Apparently, this is really popular with kids. So, oh, this is also cute. That's not my owl. I know there was like a big like craze or hype over this with all the parent bloggers, but I don't know, like can you buy somebody a gift that's clearly from Aldi? Because <laughs> I feel a bit of a, like a bit of a cheapskate, but I think this is really cute and it definitely says from birth because the baby's not even six months old yet. He's maybe like two or three months old. Mm. What do you think, Jess? I do feel like a bit of a cheapskate though. Oh my God, I'm finally home. Just just helped me do like a really quick tidy up of the house. So we finally unpacked the suitcase, but we've just unpacked the suitcase and put it away, but just dumped everything in the bedroom for now. We're gonna watch The Apprentice, even though it's 20 past 11, because I need to wrap the baby presents that I got for my friend. My sister very kindly gave me this um, new baby boy wrapping paper that she bought for one of her friend's kids. And ever since that baby was born, they've all been girls. So she was like, I don't need it. I ended up buying these i just think kevin the carrot is so cute so hopefully i've got enough wrapping paper for that i'm going to wrap this gruffalo book up that i bought and serena very kindly printed off this label for me because my um let me show you because the person that won my advent calendar uh the charlotte tilbury one that i had a giveaway for is still waiting for it i tried to send it by royal mail and it's so annoying because it is literally just over 2 kg so it jumps up from i think it was four pounds to 15 pounds because they send it by parcel force so i had to send it by courier i don't have a printer at home so serena very kindly printed that off for me and i might even wrap my granddad's biscuits but i'm not sure we just picked these up in aldi for ourselves so we might have a couple of these now while we watch the apprentice anyway so today has been super long and tiring i'm going to sign off this vlog here so thank you so much for watching and i will see you tomorrow for day i want to say 15 <laughs> bye